Hey guys, it's Caleb Caleb with White Metal Games here. Got a special treat for you today. Uh, this is an Angron miniature that we converted about uh, six or so months ago, I think. Um, I've always been a big fan of the Saigor miniature from the Beastman line, and uh, I got inspired and wanted to do an Angron conversion using them. Um, now, this was not painted by our studio. This was painted by uh, Twitchy Droid uh, Commissions, um, or Twitchy Droid, I think, Painting. Um, the guy who runs the company is a gentleman named Gorman on the forums, and he does excellent work. And he is based in the UK, uh, uh, outside of London. Um, and we contacted him to do um, a private commission because we're trying to catch up on some backlog. And we're experimenting with outsourcing a little bit. And uh, we wanted to try out a few services. And I was pretty pleased with the way this came out. Um, I, I didn't give him a lot of notes. I just told him I wanted it sort of Cornish themed to keep with the theme of the, the army that Angron is in. And I also told him that I wanted it to be sort of like a gorilla themed, so sort of gray skinned with uh, light pink wings, sort of pink membranes. Um, and as you can see, it's a massive figure. It, that's It's standing on a, a large base there, like a chariot style base, which some of the Forge World demons do um, when they're that big. Um, you can see here with beside a space marine, he just towers over this guy like he could stomp him. Um, so this was an interesting conversion because I got to kit bash a whole bunch of different models, including this large ape-like head. Um, from a Reaper miniature, which I really like. Um, I like giving this guy kind of a gorilla-ish feel. Um, and uh, uh, the artist, uh, in this case, Twitchy Droid, or Gorman, did a great job with the wings. If you look really close, you can see these nice little dots on there. You can see how he's painted the membranes, and he's done a lot of lining work in there. Not easy to do all that lining. Uh, on the fur, you can see the continued trend there, a lot of highlighting, and... Uh, even on the, the metals um, here, up here, you can see how he's sort of gone in there and done some washes and some really fine brushwork and some highlighting there. So really nice. Um, he's got an interesting technique where if you look really close at the skin, you'll see actually what he does. I'll see if I can't get it to focus. Is that he uh, basically does line after line after line after line to create the skin tone and the texture. And um, at, at close it looks a little weird but when you pull back it really gives it a nice sort of gradient feel um, like a natural skin and I really like the, the look I think it's neat it's a cool effect and uh, it's unusual shows you how every artist does it differently which I think is really always cool um, so yeah came out really good I really like his work and uh, if you're in the UK or thinking about doing a model I definitely recommend twitchy droid commissions um, we're one of the few services that actually talks about other services out there but we feel like what's good for us is good for other people um, and even though sending models to the UK is not normally the way we do things, um, this was a, a good experience and I really liked working with them. Um, and I certainly recommend them. Give you one more thorough here. And I think he came out pretty good. And he'll either be up for sale on our eBay store or uh, at the next convention we take a go to. So uh, you'll see him then. Um, and we can duplicate figures like this. I've heard, I've had some comments about this particular figure and things they would want to change. So if you see this figure and you like it, but there's things you would want to do differently, commission one. Uh, just talk to us about it and we'll be happy to sort of meet your requirements and whatever it is you want to change. Um, so uh, that's it. Uh, and clearly in this case, you know, uh, Gorman put as many as where his mouth was.